Okay. Now, this is this time. This is happiness without material position and the product. Okay. So now, if you don't have a happiness, if you don't, uh, sorry, if you don't have a pride, I said you'd be more happier. Look at this child, like one year old child. He's happy. I told you, right? he's happy, right? Because he doesn't have a pride. He doesn't have values. You know, he has I egoism. He he likes his life, right? He want, doesn't want to die or anything like that. He, he likes his life. Right? He cries when mother goes away because he wants to live. That's a pride is there. But less values, less values to it. If, if he give gold, he will throw it. There's no value of gold to him. Gold and plastic are the same to him. Okay, but if they, if somebody gives us gold, we keep it because we value it. And we give good like a, a positive concept to the gold. You know, gold makes me happy. Right? You have wedding rings, right? You know, you keep it in the drawer. You might have not seen for decades. Right? It gives you pride, happiness. It's a concept. It, you don't even see it. You die, many ring is still in the drawer. You understand? So we that's we made a concept, very great, you know, the goal the ring we have it. That's why we buy the most expensive ring for the wedding. Okay? That's the brothers. Right? Hey, happiness. So this child, happy. But because he has less values, less values, but has little pride because he has egoism. I feel, it. and he's ignorant too. He has less wisdom, thank you. Okay, when he has less wisdom, he's more vulnerable to develop pride and attach, attach, and to develop pride. The uh, pride he has more tendency. That's what happened to us. But look at this. He's a he's a he's a meditator. Like that. This guy is a, he's a meditator for 10 years, like three hours per every day. He developed wisdom. When you develop wisdom, our vulnerability to get right, get attached, is less. That's why I put you know, meditate and happiness with the mindfulness, <coughs> and the correct, you have to be correct mindfulness. I made a mistake here, okay? Uh, he is less vulnerable for emotional fluctuations, okay? Less vulnerable for sadness. Okay, this we, we, we talk about this, okay, and, uh, uh, okay. Okay, now look at this, uh, okay. The meditation helps to understand the creation of suffering from attachment, okay. When you meditate, look, you know, uh, you'll understand that we, most of the time, we live in boredom, okay. Now, because of the boredom, I find I want to do something. Oh, I want to climb a hill. Oh, I want to go to a party. I want to play music. Okay, something I want to do. Okay. Oh, uh, here's this guy. He said, "Right, a mountain to climb." Now, uh, before even uh, climbing the mountain, he put it in the Facebook. I'm going to climb the mountain. He's happy, all right. But you see, oh, he's trying hard. You know, half and half and uh, goes to the airport and sleep. A lack of sleep for many days. Now in the airports, you know, because of the crowded airports, you know, the flight delays, you know, uh, didn't go to. Uh, uh, a little far away, a remote area, with fatigue and injuries. Now finally he got to the bottom of the mountain. Huffs and puffs, bit of stress and the fear of death. He's climbing. Now finally now, he's, hey, I'm happy, I climbed the mountain. Now he's, now, he's, why he's happy now? He climbed the mountain. And another, another reason? Now he doesn't have this suffering down at the end. <laughs> he doesn't think about climbing down, all right? Other thing is he doesn't have the boredom now. That's the most thing. I didn't have the boredom. So did he the reason for the, the happiness? Now what happened? He sees a bigger one. Oh, what is the one I climbed? Nothing. Now he is in boredom again. The what I have done is nothing compared to this. This seems like, you know, we moved to a new house. Bigger house, you know, it becomes smaller, like this, like this. When you see the neighbor's house, then the next door neighbor makes a bigger house than your house, this becomes a pain. Okay, this house becomes a pain. Even without seeing this mountain, you even though you, you, even without that, you get already more about it. It's more about you see a bigger mountain. Another child, is a, ten, uh, a fifteen year old child who likes mountain climbing, came to me. I asked for him. 
why you are doing this? It's a risk for your life. No, I love you. This is my passion. He was, you know, he was abused when he was a child. To get rid of that pain, get rid of those memories, he's doing, uh, he's doing this mountain climb with it. And I, I, I told him, I, I told this uh, uh, example to him, you know, when you climb one mountain, didn't you see that another bigger, bigger mountain? Did it make you sad? Is it? Yes, doctor, make me sad. Now you, you went on a vacation. Once you come back here, don't you feel sad? I lost the, uh, the nice life there. I, that's why I'm depressed. He said, actually, he's depressed now because he came, he went on a vacation to uh, uh, some uh, South American country. And uh, then uh, when he was there, he was very happy because when he see poor people, and uh, when, they are, when they are happy, you get that same happiness. Okay? Like, you know, they don't have anything. Oh, I have, I have more thing in Canada, but they are happy, but I'm not happy. They, they, they compare their happiness to you, and you become happy. That happiness comes from pride too. I have more than them in Canada. Why should I be sad? So I should be happy. That's come from pride. So then you stay there, you're happy. But once he comes here. Now he sees again, other people have things. They have parents, I don't have parents. They have a house, I don't have a house. He's a homeless child. Look what happened to him. Because he has values. He gave value to the house. He gave value to the parents. He gave value to the, uh, the belt. Cars. Cars. Friends. He doesn't have any friends. He gave value to him. That's why you want friends. You want friends? No. Why do you need friends? Because you think the friends, friends can give me happiness. This is a concept you make in the mind. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need friends. You know? I need friends. You know, you have to help. But I mean, you know, it is, it is for some reason. You keep one, a couple of friends, you know, two or three friends, not many friends. Many friends give me problems. So you find the good friends who have good thinking, have a good wisdom, and you connect it to them. What I'm saying is, you, know, you guys do meditation. You will have opportunity to find good friends. If you go to meditation center. You will have new good friends. And they all have good thinking ability. Have those friends. Okay. You need a couple of friends, not many. Okay. All right. Oh, this guy. You know, the other guy. You know, who doesn't even want to climb? Like me. Okay. <laughs> this was sleeping. Okay. So this is uh, in meditation world. Desire will end with unsatisfaction. He knows that this desire will end with unsatisfaction. He knows that. Okay, this is, a, this is another. This is a border. You have a momentary pressure. Sorry. This is a, uh, when you climb the mountain, you get a momentary pressure. Oh, I climb the mountain. I am climbing the mountain. So then, most of the time, you are in the in the tiredness, like the fear of getting injured. Like you know, uh, then the tiredness, so the body tiredness when you are climbing. Right? Most you want sadness. Later you want happiness. Momentary pressure from achievement at the end. Then again, board, pain from the entrance of fear, losing sadness, okay. Then after that, you, now you go to pride. You tell the friends, you know, I, I, I climbed, I texted, I climbed this mountain. Then they, they're asking, now you, okay. Uh, when are you going to climb? Oh, now you maintain that. Once you achieve that, and you tell other people, they get, get, get pride. Uh, then the next step is, you have to maintain it. All right? You understand this step? This is very important to understand this. You have to maintain it now. I keep on climbing, otherwise people ask. Oh, you, you, know, you are not climbing mountains now? What happened to you? Are you depressed? That's what happens. When people meditate, they ask, why are you depressed? Why are you meditating? People ask, right? You are not watching movies, you are not going on vacation, you are not talking to friends, you are not going to Facebook. The people the person who doesn't know, oh, get trapped in there. It doesn't have this to get trapped in there. So he, Keep on doing this. Keep on doing this. Okay, the meditator. So this is the the first stage called uh, paritara. It's a coming to samadhi when you meditate. The, the, the happiness. You no, know? he doesn't climb. He just do like this and go to the extreme happiness. Okay. No, it's a uh, it's called paritara samadhi. The first stage of the happiness. Then called pachara samadhi. The second level and the arpana samadhi. It, it, it takes about. Four. For a meditator, it takes about one minute, even less than one minute to achieve this. Okay. 
okay, when you meditate. Okay, when you meditate, after three months, you recognize, you can go to uh, like, you know, dhyana level. You can go in three months enough to go to first dhyana. First dhyana, we call it dhyana, 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 okay? Or this, English people call it jhana, that's the wrong word, dhyana, okay? So when you, when you, when you go there, you, you feel your mind is alert, very alert, kind, and completely aware of the situation, completely aware of your mind, you know? It, it, that, I, I, I'll get there. And other thing is, you, know, you feel like your know, body is totally famous. The first one, okay. First genre is that much, that much. Uh, give, gives you joy and peace and serenity. All right. This is the first genre. Second genre, third genre, fourth genre, fifth, sixth. There are eight genres, eight genres. And the, this, you know, this called you know, this, uh, That is only in totally Buddhism. Up to eight in Hinduism, also they 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 can achieve. Without having Buddhism, just by the concentration and the loving kindness, you can attain up to hey, it is like this loving kindness meditation is taught in in Hinduism too, you know, Jainism, Hinduism. But uh, the super mundane levels, going above the, the human levels, is taught in only in Buddhism, okay, to go this one. Okay, then after this, enlightenment.